I still haven't seen anything in the paper, Sam. When will you get the murder charges dropped? I am sick of you harping on that, Virgilia. Like I'm sick of servicing you? Oh, my God. I didn't mean that, Sam. I didn't. Believe me, Sam, you're the only friend I've got. Please forgive me, Sam. Please. I forgive you. I see you tomorrow, Sam? Are you asking how soon I'll be back with more money? You know I'm not asking that. I enjoy being with you, Sam. But, Julie, the fact is, I won't be back tomorrow or any other day. <laughs> you can't mean that. The party feels I will be the most effective candidate for the Senate. That means that knowing you is something of a risk. Someday, somebody's going to find out about us. But you care about me, Sam. I mean something to you, don't I? <laughs> Do you really think I'd risk being ruined politically? No. My dear, you were a challenge. Like so many of life's challenges, once it's met, moves on. Sam, is this because of what I said earlier? <laughs> no. I made up my mind long before tonight. I let you use me like one of your whores. There's no need to be crude, Virginia. There is a brighter sign. Yes, I'll be free. But then again, so would you. What do you mean? You need no longer worry about the murder indictment against you. A policeman told me some time ago that a witness had come forward, a stretcher bearer, and he absolved you from any responsibility for that uh, southern officer's death. So the only thing you have to worry about is the assault charge against you by Mrs. Neal. That should prove to be minor inconvenience at best. You knew all this, and you just let me go in believing that my life was in danger? Just collecting on past favors, my dear. You don't have to worry about moving immediately. The rent's paid to the end of the month. Excuse me. Virginia. Take care. Goodbye, my dear. Goodbye? No, no, not like this, Sam. Hmm? You're not leaving. Virginia, you're upset. And you don't know what you're doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Poor Sam.